Welcome to Wednesday's Word of Wisdom. Today we're going to be talking about resistance. Come on back and see what we got for you. And we're back. So we're talking about resistance. Um, how many of you have been in a car and you're riding with the windows down and you've ever done like this? And it's a good feeling sometimes. It just feels like your hand is just moving with the wind and it just feels so relaxing and rejuvenated. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. When I was younger, I used to ride it a lot with the windows down. Here, not so much. Mm. But have you ever just stuck your hand out the window just a little bit and felt the wind just kind of push back on your hand? The resistance is greater when you stretch your hand even further out and the wind is just like, especially if you're driving at higher speeds, right? And you've got that wind just pushing on your hand. The greater resistance is pushing when your hand is further out. And as I was driving, I was driving on the highway and I was having this conversation with the Lord. And the Lord says, the further you are away from being in my will is the more resistance that you feel. But when you're in the vehicle, in accord with him, in his will, then you don't feel that resistance. When you're moving with the flow of His Spirit, you don't feel that resistance as much. And I was like, wow, Lord. I said, thank you for that. Yeah, we, we've all felt this. There's, we know our spiritual highs. Yeah. That's what we'll call them. There's spiritual highs. We feel God. We've been to great meetings or whatever it may be. We feel God in that moment. But then we get into our everyday lives. A lot of us work for companies that are not Christian. We have people around us that curse, they smoke, they drink, whatever it may be. That resistance is starting to build. And the more we spend time in that, that's the more we're going to get out of that spiritual high. And that resistance to coming back to Christ is even harder. Because the world is, is I mean, it's, it's the world. I mean, right. We give into it so much. Right. So... What we need to do is when we start feeling ourselves, start feeling that resistance, we need to, that's when we need to come back. Right. Not until we're totally entrenched into those things that used to bring us down. Because once we get there, it's gonna be very hard to, you know, get back because we, we're stuck in it. Right, right. And so our challenge right now is for you to do a spiritual checkup. Where are you? Do you find yourself flowing? in the will of the Father? Or are you feeling that resistance, feeling that push, feeling that pull, feeling defeated, feeling down? Uh, I think sometimes we go through seasons in our life in which we're flowing and we're vibing and we're on that spiritual high. But then there are times we're getting a lot of turmoil and twist and resistance. Sometimes we are doing the will of the Lord and it's the enemy fighting. But there are times it's because we have stepped outside of where we need to be and where we're now pushing against the wind. And so I definitely encourage you to do a checkup. And then some things, you know, am I spending as much time reading and praying as I should, right? If the answer to that is, no, oh, you know, it's been less than it was a month ago, or it's been, you know, less than it was the last week, and you're feeling that resistance, it might be the Lord saying, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. Come back inside, come back in accordance with my will. One of my favorite verses is, teach me to do your will for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. And sometimes if, if we're not in that, we're gonna feel that resistance. Yeah, and that is always our challenge, right. not just to ourselves, but to you as well, is how much are you in the word of God? Right. Is it just the, the verse of the day on the Bible app so you can get out and go to work? Or are you spending intentional time with him? Mm -hmm. It's just like a marriage. And we've said this before. If I only talk to Sonia Lee one minute every day and never saw her or talk to her again, that relationship's going to die. And we're pushing in on that resistance with God because that's how we treat him sometimes. We give him a minute, maybe five minutes a morning, and we expect our lives to be good in him but that resistance right there we try to resist spending more time with him because yeah. we want our time to us we want to fill it with everything else yeah. but we need to let that resistance go and just spend time with him right 
That's how our relationship grows. That's how your relationship with your significant other grows. It's right. through time, getting to know each other. Right. So, yeah, absolutely. And Bishop talked on Sunday about he's a he's a great rewarder, right? And uh, he read that verse uh, that talks about uh, he will uh, reward those who diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we forget that, that even that peace, that overwhelming peace in the midst of the storm, that is a reward. Because how many know in this world, <laughs> we need the peace, right? But oh my goodness, when we're entrenched in our Heavenly Father, when we're saturated by spending time in His presence, and not just that 60 second verse of the day, but we can receive that peace, we can receive that joy in the midst of the storm. So we definitely encourage you this week, do a spiritual checkup. Where are you? What is the resistance coming from? Is it the enemy or is it the Lord trying to get your attention saying, Hey, my son, hey, my daughter, you're straying too far away. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.